she's looking forward to the birth of her third child in just under three months, and today the Duchess of Cambridge showed her maternal side as she bonded with young patients at Great Ormond Street Hospital. The royal cheered up four-year-old patient Raphael Chana as they exchanged smiles and high-fives this morning when the Duchess visited his bedside. Kate, who is known for her love of the high street and today Kate proved her loyalty again by opting for a vibrant red coat from Bowdoin, a firm favorite with middle-class mums. The royal, 36, wrapped up her baby bump in the 220 pounds number worn over a custom-made peach dress, which she previously wore, while pregnant with Prince George, and even braved chilly temperatures in a peach dress legs. However, she left her pounds 300k engagement band, which once belonged to Princess Diana, in accordance with the hospital's policy on minimal jewelry. The Duchess was visiting Great Ormond Street Hospital, gosh, to open the latest phase in the institution's ambitious redevelopment project. Kate met with young patients and their families to hear about their experiences of the enhanced facilities in the completed Middle Children's Medical Center. The center has transformed the hospitals and patient facilities and fulfills its goal of providing modern accommodation for all the young patients and allowing parents or carers to stay comfortably by their bedside. It was completed over two stages, first the Morgan Stanley Clinical Building was created followed by the recently finished Premier Inn Clinical Building. The second clinical building involved redeveloping and refurbishing the Children's Hospital's cardiac wing and is now home to a new surgery center alongside inpatient wards for medical specialties like infectious diseases and cardiorespiratory. During the visit Kate also met staff caring for young patients and talked to clinicians carrying out cutting-edge research to help the most seriously ill children. The royal family has a long-standing relationship with the hospital with Queen Victoria becoming its first patron after it was founded in 1852. After officially opening the new building, the Duchess gave a short speech saying that she'd been very impressed on her first visit to the hospital. I'd like to thank you for having me here today, she said. It's been my first visit to Great Ormond Street and I've been so impressed by everything I've seen and the scale of the work going on here. It's been wonderful to meet so many families and young people. I've been so inspired by their bravery and courage at such a difficult time. My main message is congratulations to you all. It means so much to the families, both to the parents and children. You can see the real family element the hospital brings at such a difficult time. So well done, huge congratulations and I wish you all the very best of success in the future. Later today Kate, who is patron of the All England Lawn Tennis and Croquet Club, will visit Bond Primary School in Mitcham, South London to see the work of the Wimbledon Junior Tennis Initiative. It's been a busy week so far for Kate, who yesterday visited Coventry with Prince William, their first joint engagement of 2018. The couple visited Coventry Cathedral before officially opening the new Health and Science Building at Coventry University. William and Kate rounded off their day by seeing firsthand the work of the organization Positive Youth Foundation in the city. The foundation works with young people who find themselves living in challenging circumstances, from those excluded from school to others at risk from a range of social issues. Thank you.